<laughs> Hi, hey guys, you're home. So I'm you're tired. home? Me. You're... I'm tired. You're tired? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I did get most of what I need to get done. Except that um you know I'm getting financial aid as well. Let's unbox this TV stand, which brings us to today's sponsor, Ernest. Thank you to Ernest for sponsoring this video. This remarkable piece is elegant with a modern design with a touch of mid-century elements. Absolutely beautiful. I went ahead and we decorate the TV stand to add a little more upscale touch to it. Very easy to assemble and it comes with three spacious drawers providing abundant storage for entertainment accessories and also keeping the space tidy and organized. Added my husband game and the controllers and also all the remotes. Measuring 70 inches in length and can accommodate a TV up to 80 inches, making this piece the ideal focal point for our entertainment area. Don't forget guys, if you love this piece, the link will be in the description or you guys can check out their website, Ernest underscore official, and you'll get a wide range to select from. And also, we do have a code, use code CARTER for an extra 15% off. Thanks again to Ernest for sponsoring this video. guys um this is already the start for us um i'm up woke the kids up they're getting ready for school um making them breakfast normally i start out with um fruits so maybe a little fruit you know sometimes it all depends on the fruits that wifey bought so this is grape apple and banana so that's just a little snack for them and um I'm gonna give them Kyra says she wants waffles and Amelia says she wants cereal. So since it's something easy, I'm gonna give them both what they want and um, get them ready and take them to school. So this is my first part of the task. Since I'm the first one to get up, guys, I normally take them to school. And then when my wife will get up, she do her part of the day. So we're gonna show you that, but you're gonna start out with me. So she's currently get some, getting some rest, which is which is good. So right now my task is just to get the kids in ready make sure they're early for school i don't have school today so yeah that's it but welcome to the life of the carter good morning guys and for every one of you guys who get up this early to forward a school or work or whatever the task work out whatever it is it's a challenge right i didn't want to get up this morning but anyways i have to get up so stay tuned Show you the rest of the day go. Yeah. So just say so you know, uh, 
Um, so guys, they're down. Which one of these are yours? Because uh, this is queen. This is yours. Okay. Uh, hmm? Hold on, I'm going off, guys. Okay. Alright, then go ahead and catch your water, grab your snacks, and then um, we'll get going. Alright? So, grab your water bottle. Quinn, get your water bottle. Alright. Um, do you all have your um, gymnastics clothes? You got your leotard yes. in your back? Quinn, you got yours? Alright, when you finish, you go upstairs. Sorry. No worry about it now. Where's your water bottle? Oh. All right, guys, so I'm excited today. Today is an exciting day because I get to pick up a bunch of gadgets. So guys, the military finally purchased my Apple laptop device. And also, remember I told you I bought a flash to take pictures? Well, guess what? I am about to pick it up too, but not before I go to school. I still got um, an assignment to complete, which means I am going to have to go to school and print two more pictures or three more pictures I believe and then I go from there okay anyways um, then I have to go to UCF again I know y'all might see a vlog with us where I went to UCF and you know I was taking care of business because you boy about to go back to school but to be honest guys it's, it's gonna be really challenging because I'm no longer just a student I'm a parent I'm a husband and um, I have responsibilities. And my wife concerned about that tremendously. She, she even say, yo, oh, that's selfish of you to go back to school. But she do understand the reason though, because she know that we have to better ourselves and what we do and requires me to have the expertise and the knowledge, which in return translates into income. So we do understand that. And that is why nuclear family is key. And the reason why I say that guy is because we have both parents to be able to chip in. Now, mind you, if my task is to take Olivia to school, pick the kids up from school, bring them to the extracurricular activities, if I am not able to do that at any point in time, all I have to do is call my wife and say, babe, I'm running late, I might not be able to pick the kids up. She'll be able to do it. Imagine a single parent who does not have that option or doesn't have somebody to call on to give them that helping hand. You understand what I'm saying? My daughters, they be turning the eat on around here. Ooh. Kyra daddy, she turned the heat on for everything. So yeah, that's what I was saying. So I believe that um, being able to have both parents is really key and it helps me out and it helps my wife out too because at times we need that, um, that little cushioning of support. So yes, I'm going back to school. I'm going to UCF to pick up the laptop and also I'm going to Best Buy to pick up the flashes and all of that dashes and all of that stashes you know what i mean so i'm kind of excited they start so fine chrissy's at home you know she works late so she sleeps late and boy i gotta give it to my wife i, I think i have one of the, the best women in the world i'm not even gonna say she's the best only because you know a bunch of us males got a bunch of best females as wives so i'm gonna give it to other females but i think i got one of the best wives too in the world she loves me he said, don't watch Chrissy, guys. No matter what I say, she go on tough, go on like say she had, she's really a little pudding cake, all right? She's soft, and she's soft on the inside and hard on the outside. That's the best way to describe her. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, it's going to be challenging because I got to go to school and then be a parent. And I try to take summer school because I feel like the kids are out and that would be the best option for me to maximize on credits. But in summer school, they don't always give the same classes during regular, you know, school semester term. So 
<sighs> but anyways, I'm excited though. I really want to learn this film thing because I feel like, you know, I got a whole bunch of things coming in. Also, I'm in the process of shooting a film, a short film, guys. I want you guys to support it. I'm going to try to bring it in theater. And it's going to be in theaters near you. I'm going to bring it to all the, all the city theaters because I'm going to make sure that pop. But I need your support. I'm going to do a cast call. So the thing is with cast calling is if you're an actor, if you think you could act, you could try out for the role. And if you get the role, we hire you on and bam, you're a part of it. You know, but... um. I'm going to do some things that I really want to do. I feel like I'm destined to do some great things along with my, my, my kids. They're being great at things and my wife. You know, I think God bless the union to a level where we both complement each other. And don't get it twisted, though. If you see how we act sometimes, you'll be wondering if these couples are couples because we, we be going at it. But I think that's what keep the band and keep us going, too. You understand me? But let me pause and order this food from Chick-fil-A. Oh. No, you're good. You're not on camera. No, no, no. You're fine. So, I'll take the number five. That's the only thing I buy you in the morning, anyways. The number five. Oh, no, I shouldn't. I'm, I'm done with fast food. Just the number five. And your drink? Water. What's the name for order? Carter. See so that rhyme? Water Carter. <laughs> <laughs> I got the app. Oh, guys, I shouldn't be eating. I, I'm hungry. I got to eat. So I'm on a break from fast food for a while. So, But I'm used to purchasing this in the morning, so I got here in the line, not yeah, realizing. I see, I see you often. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. I'm a regular customer here. You hear that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you should check out the Carter family on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Is that a total? Yeah. Wait, let me get that. I should go up a bit. No, I got the car right here. Okay. 722, is this the card? Let me try. I got so much of them. Okay, I got money on that one. All right, <laughs> thank All you, right. enjoy. All right, guys, so yeah, I'm not supposed to eat this. Like, I haven't eat fast food in weeks, like maybe a week or two right now. And because I'm used to coming to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, you, you see things, certain things are muscle memory. Because I just pop up in Chick-fil-A line and this wasn't my option. I'm supposed to be going to school. But, I mean, sometimes you got to cheat it, you know, and to reach a point where you break it off completely. But for the most part, we're going to school, we're going to um, UCF, we're going to pick that laptop up, and then we're going to pick stuff up. But guys, I'm telling you, parenting and schooling can be rough. I might, be have, to, I might have to do part-time, but I want to complete, because I only got like two semesters or three semesters left, and I'm done with my degree. You understand me? So, Yeah. Anyway, stay tuned. Have a blessed day. I hope you're um, doing fine. Guys, you can comment and tell me the type of videos you want to see me do. I'm kind of confused what to post on this platform. I really don't know the type of content to post. I tried a lot of things. But if you guys want to see a certain level of content from me on this post, please tell me the type of content to post. Say, Card, I want to see more of this. And I'll try to do it. All right, guys? Stay tuned. Love you. I'm a little bit mad at myself right now. I was just talking to you guys and I didn't have the microphone. It was recording. I hope it's not too low where you guys didn't hear anything I said. I'll be really pissed. And I, did, I think it recorded something, so I might have to boost it in post when I'm editing this video. But hopefully that's not the case because I said a whole bunch of stuff for a few minutes. And ah, but anyways, I just wanted to tell you all that. I am at Best Buy and I decide that I'm going to run to go collect the items that I'm going to carry. I was going to wait till school over, but on my way to school, I have to pass the very same Best Buy that I need to stop at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in there and collect my, my items that I need, and then I continue my journey to school. It makes sense, guys, because then now I don't have to um, go the other way and come back again to come and get this. So I'm at Best Buy now. Let's get in there. Let's go pick my item up, you know, and come back. I should have do store pickup, but eh. So guys, this is where this is where I shop for most of my equipment. So bear with me. Anyways, um, let's get this. I bought um, a flash and a memory card, a very very expensive mem memory card, but it was on sale, so I did that. All right. So I think I will go over this side for the pickup. 
And this Best Buy used to have a good camera set up with. Anyways, this is a little bit better. So I guess this this is a pickup aisle? Okay. So yeah guys, I'm about to pick it up and then head on out. So this should be a short process and then we're good to go. Alright, I'm excited to start using this flash because I mean they say flash make pictures better. So we'll see. Oh, on this side, okay. I right, see, I'm already getting through. So I'll see you guys. I bought a memory card. The memory card that I bought is to shoot the, the short film because the short film that I'm going to shoot, I'm shooting it at the highest quality that my camera can push out. And the Sony FX30 could do a really high quality. And the memory card that I need for it is a CFX Type A, C Express Type A Sony card. Very expensive. But Best Buy had it on sale the other day and it was like almost a hundred and something dollars. I'm saving. The, the, the one eight, I got a 180 gig, and that's normally $400. And I got it for 269 So I saved on it, and I grabbed it. I never thought in many years, in so many history, or I never thought in history I would ever purchase a memory card that expensive. But when you get in the film field, and you want to shoot the best quality, you're going to know that the stuff that you need is going to cost. And you got to invest in yourself if you want good. So I believe in that. And I did buy a flash. The flash is mostly for my wife because she take a lot of pictures. So that's me. So yeah, so I'm out of here now. I did get my stuff. I stopped and I picked them up. So I'll show you them when I get in the car. I stopped and I'm running late for class, but guys, I'm really excited about these. Right now, I would love for Christy to get ready so I could start taking some picture for her. I really don't know how to use the flash yet, but trust me, your boy going to YouTube college to learn that. Or just wait until my class start. They teach me how to use a flash. Either way, I'll show you guys. All right. So let's put this down. Why am I wearing my glass today? I haven't been wearing it in a while. I don't know. Anyways, do I need it? Nah, I don't need it for this one. So guys, let me show you real quick before I drive off. All right, so. I bought this, it is a flash, it's a Sony flash, because y'all know I'm a Sony guy, I use Sony cameras, so this is a flash, um, yeah, and uh, that's it, and then this guy's is $550, but I got it for $499, so they never really go on sale, and then I got this memory card, it's different from regular memory card. They got the sticker on it. Let me take it off. I don't want it on it. Yeah. Yep. I don't want it on it. And I got this memory card, guys. Let me turn on my product showcase. So I got this memory card, guys. And this memory card ain't cheap. It is... um. I have one for it already, but I had an 80 gigabyte. But they had a 160 gigabyte on sale. So what you think your boy gonna do? Get it. It's not this simple card that you see here. This is how it looks. This little thing, this is how it looks right here. But this card right here, one, 160 gigabyte is $400. I got it for 260. So I couldn't, I could not, not have it. So, you know, yeah. So anyways, Heading on all for class now. See y'all later. Now the next stop is at um, the next stop is at UCF for the um for the laptop that I told you that the military bought. Cause you know when you go to school, when they send you to school, they pay for your supplies, school supplies, things that pertain into your schooling. So we're gonna go there. Anyways, going to school so I could um actually so I could actually um print some pictures for my, my project. Oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, she, I didn't realize that the person was actually waiting on me to move off. So, here goes nothing. Schooly, schooly, roly pooly. I'm excited, as you can tell. Right now, two of me excited, guys. Me nobody want to go school. Me just want to go home and go play with these toys. My wife say I be buying these just to play with them like a toy. 
and I need to start making money from them. I'm making money from my equipment. What you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, later. Guys, today is Monday. I'm here. I am going to cut up some fruits and then cook dinner. That's what we are going to do. I have a pineapple right here that we're going to cut. We actually purchased this from last week in Sam's. I oil the pineapple like that stuff. Oh, if you see my people, I oil the pineapple like in. Oh, the knife here is so sharp. I used to boil the skin off this, you know. It's really good. It's a really good detox. I think I need to leave it and boil it with some ginger. Add some um, mint. And what else I used to add in it? today. I'm going to cut up these and serve up to go for Olivia. Alright, we're going to cut up. Oh, the camera seems like it is very far. Going cut all the stuff them out there. You ever watch a people peeling pineapple and see how they do it? And they move so fast. Let's see if we can do that. Anybody on here is a pineapple peeler like that can peel pineapple real good. And then gusto. What are you guys eating today? And I eat anybody I eat any Sunday Monday? Anyone eating any Sunday Monday? I am eating salmon. We're gonna season that right now as well. When I'm done with these fruits, I want to cut up the pineapple and I do have a watermelon over there that needs to cut. I'm pretty sure, okay, so no sweet. You may deal with it like it's sweet. This is a Japanese knife set. I did an ad for them on my Instagram story. All right, let's cut this part off. All right, we're gonna do the taste test. Oops. Lad, yes, so saw. Try to come and brush my teeth. This pineapple is not pineapple. -y. Right now, I feel like I'm just going to cut it up and blend it. Yeah, that's the plan. It's not sweet at all. Gotta cut it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, and blend this. not sweet uh, you know what pineapple and carrot is really good so we might do that let me get the 
Good shot, guys. I'm going to put the part that's cut already. Guys, I didn't post any Sunday video on my channel. You know, a lot of persons reached out and asked me. There is a reset. I was so tired after cooking um, this weekend. I was out of it. So, I didn't do a Sunday reset. Hopefully, the watermelon is sweet. Cut it up and then go pick up Olivia. This is it. We're done with that. It's fresh. Though. Let's get the watermelon and then come back. I'm gonna put these in a bag and boil them. Like these. We have a few right here. Wash them off and boil them. With some ginger and do a little detox. So I left my camera, so I'm using my phone to do this portion of the vlogging. Um, so I'm currently at UCF, guys. If you don't know, I'm enrolled in um, college right now, and I'm doing film production, you know, because that in line with what I want to do, and I see the market for it, and I really think that in the future, it's gonna you're going to need movies, advertisement, and it's going to require a camera, you know? And, you know, the girlies and the dudes, they be like taking photographs, so why not have those under my belt so i'm gonna start ucf in the summer wherever there's a checklist that i need to get done before i can register for class one of which i need to submit immunization shots like you know covid and all that stuff but luckily when you're a veteran you would get to waive those so i'm here on campus just to make sure i do the right thing and just check out what's going on so yes chrissy is at the house and she's supposed to you know get her side of what she's doing so y'all could see what would get done today and um the kids are at school so that's another part so they did give me a map to find where i'm looking for so i need to find um the health department which is i'm here so when i drive go over here i need to go to building seven i don't know how to read this but I'll figure it out. So that's what we got going on right now. And I'm gonna get over there and hopefully I'll get this done real quick so I could head on back home. All right, but I'll keep y'all posted. Anyways, guys, hope y'all having a wonderful day and a blessed one too, you know, so yeah.
stay tuned i'll see what goes on and what's the process and what all i need to do next all right don't forget to subscribe we out Pineapple, not pineapple, watermelon time. Oh Lord. This is a big one, you know. I should have cut it yesterday and gave Mommy a piece. Kind of look like it's sweet. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Jenny? Yes. You want watermelon? Yes. Guys, it is good. Ooh, yes it is. Come eat from that. It's so good. I'm gonna finish eating and then um, we're gonna pick up Olivia. It's good and I thought it would not be. All right, so, no, I have to season this. Let me finish up, cut up these and then we're gonna season the fish, hold on. All right guys, so I did get most of what I need to get done, except that, um, you know i'm getting financial aid as well so yes i'm in school because of my military benefits but that doesn't stop you from being eligible from getting financial aid however they need to identify that cushion carter is a real person and my purpose of education so i need to go to over this building because there's an old place on my there's a to-do list and some clients not clients should say wrong words some students automatically selected by the the first for the federal education and department to verify themselves however um i gotta go verify myself so they could release my financial aid so that's what i'm going to be doing now and um yeah The latest update is um so i'm coming from that building that you're seeing over there and um i gotta go print the form i thought they would have like pdfs files on the form where you go print it and all of that stuff but apparently you gotta go print it yourself so i'm going by the library now i don't know the process i don't know if you have to actually start well i mean i have my student id number and all that stuff so probably if i have to log in and I promise you, nine out of ten times, we might have to pay for that print. But we'll see. It's just a form to print. And um, hopefully, that's all. So I got to print the form, sign it, and then go back to that building over there. I like this little waterfall thing that's going on here at UC. But anyways, guys, this is what it is. I still got to get done so I could go get the kids. So we'll go from there and see what's up. Anyways, let's get this real print quick and fast.
all right guys so it's a little bit more challenging um i'm probably gonna get my id done today so i went to the library to get something print they told me i have to have cash on my account which i knew would have been the case because it's the same thing for me at valencia now i'm trying to do it online but um i wasn't able to do it online so because the system is down or whatever the reason is so now i have to go in person to get it done and where i'm gonna go the guy says that's where you do student id cards as well so i might as well just get my student id there i didn't want to get my id yet because you know i didn't get rid of my pretty little hair but um i'm gonna get it done so i'm running late because i have to get the kids and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be there on time so i might have to call chrissy and see if um she'll be able to get it done or get there we'll see how it goes hopefully this is a building that they guys sent me to so we're gonna see i'm already here so i'm not sure but for the most part um it says some giants and building or something of that sort let me ask them if this is a building for it because i remember coming to this building before the phone died on me so I'm just going to have to walk to the area to get my um, ID. But um, the campus is very big though. I must say that. The campus is very big. Um, I guess this is uh, the part where I have to go. Oh, it's probably in here, they said. So that's where I'm going to go, card services. And then come back again. It's a little bit of walk. I got a bicycle at the house. Bring that on campus to ride around because I think it's gonna come in handy and all of that stuff. So yeah. But we'll see. I think I have a haircut, so if I don't have to put a hat on, I'll do it. Unless they want me to wear a hat. Unless they want you to take off the hat. Oh yeah. John Washington Center. I think this is it. So yeah so it's, um you see those scooters over there guys you could rent one and ride around put your money on it and ride around so that's good too if you want to really move around and stuff like that okay, so i finally got what i want right but two things i'm not able to get the id yet because i haven't um registered for class yet and i can't register for class until i go through orientation so in their system they're not able to print the id however i did find a way to get the paper print um there's a service on campus where they do ids um where they do um i guess uh, what you call it passport so if you want to do your passport they'll do it they'll expedite it you know it's called the spot so i was there i went there to get it print because when the i when i went to the card service they told me that they can't do it and i can't print unless i have an id to add cash to the um, night account anyways they did tell me about a spot on campus where i could go and get a print so i went by there and the lady the young lady she was like you know what since it's one paper i'm not going to charge you i think it's like 10 cents but why not you know so she didn't charge me so i got a print so now oh I, was, I don't need to go to the library i need to go over back to the melican building i didn't sign it yet because i don't want to sign it and then you have to sign it in front of somebody not only that i didn't print more than one i should have printed more than one just in case there's an error on the paper but i think i'm good because i haven't signed it and i might be able to sign it in front of it, which shouldn't be a problem so that's what's going on over there anyway you see a bunch of students they might be going through orientation right now i think that's what they're probably going through right now the same thing i'm gonna have to go through in a few weeks from here i don't know maybe but we'll see all right guys back home i went to pick up the baby i had an ad to post on instagram just posted that as well so we're gonna get to cooking before night time yeah come here oc where is she? Olivia? Yeah. Hey, come here. Come for this. I did see, finish season the salmon and everything. Cut up the watermelon. 
we just need i have rice in the fridge i will be eating a salad so no rice for me or if i feel like i want rice or feel like i need some starch or carbs i'll eat the quinoa yes come i'm talking to you come and say hey show me show me mommy see it here it's on the camera come they they want to say hey what's she run down come here hold on here come quick you have to come quick 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 run oh my god i have an ads to do and she saw it this is not ah, uh -uh. No, no 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 it's for a, a, a recording go tell them hi on the camera go say hey done with the process good thing I came today because I didn't know all of this was needed you understand me so I came today good thing I did that and um, I had one more thing to take care of but I'm not gonna be able to do it so I come on next day but for the most part I complete what is needed so my financial aid will be released but I'm not gonna see anything they said until I register for class which is gonna be in a few days now is but maybe in two weeks time yeah two weeks uh, almost three weeks so I gotta go get the the kids now they out of school at 2 30 and I'm like 30 minutes out I didn't know it was gonna take me this long so I never called Chrissy in time for her to go and get the kids and she's busy doing something so I'm gonna have to go get them hopefully I don't get there too late and the traffic don't drop me up too much so that's what's up I'm not sure if this is where I park no this is not where I park I park over there like over there so I gotta do some walking and then I should be out of here I'm gonna take the toll though so right there I'm gonna go get the kids when I get them I gotta take them to gymnastics because they got gymnastics today so Hopefully we do that in time, like I said, but I, I should be there around three-ish and I'll still be okay to get them and it's not too bad because gymnastics starts at um, 4 p.m. So, yes. And orientation, guys, I don't know if I, saw, I showed you all them, them kids or them students because, some you know, not kids only, but students and orientation starts from 9 a.m. And they say it should be done at like 4.30. So that's like almost all the day. So anyways, that's when I'll be able to register for classes and I'll see what's going on with all them classes and stuff like that. So we go from there. That's where my beautiful baby is parked. I don't know if y'all could see from that distance. All right. All right, guys, cooking time. That set is finished. I have this. One of them did almost a burn up because I was talking to mommy. But I feel like we have enough. So I'm frying them in some avocado oil and I put a little, just a little cooked of butter just to kind of bring up the oil. I find that very, oh, tastes good. Olivia is walking up and down behind me. Every move that I make, she is behind me. You know? I eat watermelon. You're eating watermelon? Yeah, yeah, so my chicken. You want more chicken? Yeah. So I, a piece of it was coming off and I gave it to her. I'll give you some in your dinner, okay? Okay. I okay. need to make a salad. And um, the watermelon, it actually tastes good cut up because I cut most of it off. So we're just eating. The kids will eat some and then I'll put the rest in the fridge once they're done. You ready? Um, I did the ads, right? For Lysol, it's right here. 
if you guys remember, we were recording Rid this. Of the old. This is it. As a busy parent with kids, I'm always cleaning up after their Go mess. Thankfully, I can out. rely on Lysol lemon disinfecting wipes to get the job done. Not only do they make cleaning my biggest we'll check it out. breeze, but they also... Alright guys, we are making the sauce. I have a little piece of butter and some avocado oil. In that, we need some ketchup and some fish and meat season. I love this. I'm going to add some of this. Some black pepper, a little bit of ketchup, and stuff. So let me finish making these and we're gonna show you the final product. The salmon is here. Let me take out the rice so we can warm it because it's 8 30. The kids soon be here. We home now. I'm home, Chrissy home. She cooked for the family like always, like a wife always would. And um, the kids over there enjoying yourself. And um I'm here. Guys, look here. One sup now. Find a uh, melon. Chrissy, I eat melon. You just need a piece of melon? Ma no, I'm eat the fruit here. You. I'm not going to buy a piece of melon. Anyways, guys. Where do you eat? Where do you cook yourself? I eat what everybody eats. I do salmon. And I have. I have kind of rice that they want it. Yeah, I'm gonna cry, so it's not enough. Yeah, you put a warm up. Yes, but it was a little bit dark for the make a whole meal. Oh. Fish. Oh, y'all, they went, guys. Oh, what did you have for dinner today? Um, and comment, what did you do? Did you have a wonderful day? Did you have a bad day? Hopefully, if you did have a bad day, watching this put a smile to your face or just, you know, change your whole mood or vibe, you know? So that's the plan. So the cabbage night not spoiled. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So guys, I have some fish. Rice. From what you may eat healthy. Oh okay. yeah, eat healthy. You know I mean? I don't eat no fast food. Oh, so you mean. So you don't eat no McDonald's spicy nuggets. No, no. I eat healthy from what you are, guys. Let's eat. I just want to drink a sip of the You look like you say you don't believe. I don't believe. I don't look right. like you don't believe. I don't believe. Guys, I tell you. I don't eat none. I don't know. That's my dinner. Salmon, quinoa and veggies. Mm -hmm. Still, I have a little tip of rice. That was left. Yeah. But anyways, guys, make sure you all like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notification on. Everybody's home. Tell them you're reaching. No, this is why your video did dark. You know your video did dark, right? Because no, no. today it was too bright, so I'm turning it on. So you know what the controller settings are? Eh? Mom! Yeah. It's too bright now. Yeah. Mommy! I want to give you. That will work. What's wrong? You need something to drink? No, that's Jillian's juice. Let me give you a juice. Alright, guys. Take care. Subscribe. You want this? Olivia, which one? This or this? This? Look how far I put it guys, I'm hungry, so I'm going to cook it. You know you could have it for automatic, that's why if you have it for automatic, I just feel. Yeah, but sometimes automatic.